Okay, so you just keep kind of smoothing it until you get it where you want. Usually pick it up then with a spatula so you can get your hands under there. And then I wanted it to kind of hang off uh, the cake a little bit and maybe tilt it a tiny bit. Um, so that's the front, maybe something like this or like this. Uh, so I need to support it, okay? So let me just pop this away. Um, I need to support it because it's too heavy by itself. So I'll just take um, some dowels here, get a cutter. I'm going to have to turn the cake towards me just because I need to kind of see what angle I want it to be at. So notice how I kept my spatula under there. I do have some finishing things to do on this, but I want to get it on here first. So I'd like it slightly angled up. So what I can do is just kind of, I know what's going to be about here and here where I need some supports. So pop one on there. And I will have it just slightly above the surface. So I've just got my, my thumb where I want it to cut it. Okay, so there's the one there. Need one about here. like that. Then I need a taller one, at least one. I might need more than one. So I'm going to pop this right about here and it's going to be taller than the cake about here. This might not be exactly how I want it and I can just cut it down from there. It's easier to go, you know, cut it longer than maybe you need and then cut it down. So it's supported. Whoa. Shouldn't turn the cake. Ooh, big mistake. Okay. Shouldn't turn the cake and show the camera while you do that. This is how you fix it. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and pop that on right where it came off. Um, and I can't really see at that angle. Mm, shoot. Okay. I'll show you how to fix that. I want it at this angle, so that's not going to fix that cake. All right. Hey, it happens, right? Okay, so I'm supporting it underneath. But you have to make sure like those dowels actually aren't hitting it. So they're not supporting anything. Let me move it back. Got to kind of get that wood right on there. There we go. So it could be there, but it's going to rock that way. So I'm going to need another support towards the front area here. My perfect icing job messed up in a matter of seconds. <laughs> okay, I like that. All right, now it's not going to just stay there by itself, right? So what we have to do is pop something, a skewer right in here. And I'm going to knock it through here. Hold on to it. I put it right in the middle of the cake because that's where the little uh, band for the cap will go. Or not the band, but there's like a little dot type thing there. Okay, and then we want to continue to go through. Now you could also put, if you're going to put something on the front of the hat, you could put another skewer in that way and then cover it up. Okay, you want to make sure that, especially if you're transporting, like this is pretty good if I was transporting it any like maybe an hour away instead of maybe 15 minutes I'd probably put a little bit more uh, another support or two in there I'm gonna get that icing off from underneath there okay. and I could either try to re-ice that or I can cover it with maybe a banner or something I think it's gonna be 